Namaskar, myself Dr. Trishan Obanik. I welcome you all to the daily weather briefing program of IMD for 30 of August. So as you can see, we start our discussion with the observed rainfall during the past 24 hour. Over the state Shorast and Kutch, we have received extremely heavy rainfall and the Mandvi station over the Kutch district received 330 mm of rainfall. And if you see the other state like the Kerala, Jambu Kashmir and Punjab receive very heavy rainfall activity. Now, if we talk about the synoptic system which drives the weather over the India and its surrounding region, you can see there are two prime systems presently exist. One is the deep depression over the coast of the Kutch which is likely to intensify into a cyclonic storm during the next few hours. Afterwards, it will move further toward the west northwest direction across the northeast Arabian Sea and it will move further toward the northwest Arabian Sea and its adjoining area during the subsequent two days and also another uh, low pressure area or the well marked low pressure area is there over the Bay of Bengal and its adjoining northwest Bay of Bengal and this system is very likely to move west northwest toward direction towards the coast of the south Odisha and north of Andhra Pradesh during the next 36 hours and in intensify further into a depression during this period and also monsoon trough is passing from this deep, de deep depression over the coast uh, of Kutch up to the low pressure area over the west central Bay of Bengal and also one western disturbance is also there at the mid tropospheric level as a trough over the uh, over the Pakistan and adjoining Northwest India and today months, uh, the offshore trough is passing from the coast of Gujarat up to the northern coast of Kerala so and also we have given the uh, predicted track of the deep depression over the west coast and you can see here this is the forecasters track and the black one is the observed track and this is the uncertainty of the track and if you see here we have given the quadrant wind information uh, over the predicted cyclonic track and you can see the wind speed maximum go after the 62 62 after the 91 kmph during the passing of this cyclonic storm over the north of Arabian Sea and uh, the, regarding the highlights I already mentioned deep depression over the coast of the Kutch as well as the well marked low pressure area over the central and adjoining northwest Bay of Bengal so under the influence of the well marked low pressure area over the Bay of Bengal uh, this is very likely that the Odisha, Coastal, Andhra Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Bidarbha and Telangana will receive very heavy rainfall activity during the next 2 to 3 days. And if we talk about the weather uh, rainfall warning for the uh, 30th of August that is for the today we have issued orange warning for the very heavy rainfall activity for the Kutch, Horast and Kutch region and if you see in the east coast, east coast orange alert that is for the very heavy rainfall warning has been issued for the state Odisha as well as if you see the south peninsular India we have issued orange warning for the very heavy rainfall for the coastal Andhra Pradesh, south interior Karnataka and Kerala for today and also if you see the uh, yellow warning for the heavy rainfall, heavy rainfall related yellow warning has been issued for the central Indian state as well as the state like uh, um, Telangana, coastal Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu and also Jambu and Kashmir and also northeast Indian state except Arunachal Pradesh and also if you see the island region like Andaman and Nicobar and Lakshadweep we have issued heavy rainfall related yellow warning for today. Now if we move further and talking about the rainfall warning for the 31st and 1st of September you can see as I already mentioned there is a uh, well marked low pressure area is presently lying over the west central and adjoining north bay of Bengal under the influence of these systems we are expecting very heavy rainfall over the 
coastal region and its adjoining state of the uh, east coast of India during the 31st of uh, August. As you can see, very heavy rainfall warning has been issued for the Odisha, Chhattisgarh, Telangana and coastal Andhra Pradesh including the coast of Kerala, uh, coast of Karnataka and uh, the adjoining state like Madhya Pradesh, then the region Vidarbha and Karnataka, Royal Sima, Kerala as also as well as the northeastern state has been issued the yellow warning for the heavy rainfall activity and if you see the rainfall warning for the 1st of September you can see as the system will further move uh, inside the um, uh, east coast of the India we have shifted our orange warning for the very heavy rainfall to the interior state like Chhattisgarh, Vidarbha as well as the Telangana for 1st of September and apart from that other states of the central India as well as the west India and north uh, over the Uttar Pradesh and northeast India we have issued heavy rainfall activity for the uh, 1st of September. Now if we move further and talk about the rainfall warning for the from 2nd September up to the 5th of September as you can see orange warning for the very heavy rainfall activity has been issued on 2nd of September for the state uh, Madhya Pradesh eastern part of the Madhya Pradesh as well as the Vidarbha region and for Telangana including the Gujarat region. Apart from that North Indian state as well as the Central India and North East India we have issued the heavy rainfall related yellow warning for the 2nd of September. September. During the 3rd and 4th September as you can see here we have issued yellow warning that is for the heavy rainfall over the central Indian state as well as the west Indian state also Uttar Pradesh, Jammu Kashmir and northeast India including the west, uh, west peninsula India and if you see the warning for the 4th and 5th you can see including the west um, uh, Madhya Pradesh as well as the east Madhya Pradesh including the Rajasthan, Gujarat and west coast of the India we have issued the heavy rainfall activity related yellow warning including the Himalayan state Uttarakhand and if you see the 5th September warning we have issued the heavy rainfall related yellow warning for the central Indian state as well as the east of Rajasthan then Gujarat and east coast of India include uh, west coast of India including the state Tamil Nadu during the 5th of September. Now if we move further and talk about the fisherman warning as you can see the deep depression is presently lying over the coast of Kutch we have issued squall wind speed warning up to the 6th uh, uh, cyclonic uh, sorry cyclonic stream gale wind speed warning up to the 60 to 90 kmph gusting to 110 kmph during 30th of August that is for today and also if you move further and see the warning for the 31st of August and you can see as the system will move towards uh, the uh, uh, north western part of the Arabian Sea so we have shifted the uh, gale wind speed 60 to 90 kmph toward that region and if you see the coast of the Gujarat we have issued the squally wind speed 50 to 60 kmph gusting to 70 during 31st of August and if you move further and see the warning of the uh, official warning on the 1st and uh, 2nd of September you can see along the coast of Gujarat, Maharashtra we have issued squally wind speed warning up to 35 to 45 gusting to 55 during, uh, during the 1st and 2nd of September and if you see on 3rd September we have issued again the squally wind speed warning 35-45 kmph gusting to 55. Now if we talk about the east coast of the uh, eastern east coast uh, region of the India you can see over the over that region we have issued squall wind speed warning up to the 35 45 gusting to 55 kmph along the coast of eastern India uh, like the state Odisha coastal Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu along this coast we have issued 35 45 gusting to 55 kmph wind warning and if you see the interior part of the uh, Bay of Bengal we have slightly increased our warning level and squall wind speed 45-55 gusting to 65 kmph has been issued for the uh, next uh, uh, four days starting from today after the 3rd of September and also fishermen are advised not to venture over any of the sea area during this period so that's all for today please visit our website mawesome.imd.govn also follow us in twitter facebook instagram and youtube Thank you very much for watching us.